Hello friends. This video is going to go over how to make your HTML tables more accessible. Before I get into the details, let me say that in preparation for this video, I was all over the internet watching videos, looking at posts and forums, reading articles, all from what appeared to be a large variety of experts on the subject. The code updates I found were based on the complexity of the table. However, once I began testing them, I quickly realized that the solutions produced inconsistent results. Some solutions worked in one screen reader but didn't work in another, or they would work in one browser but not another. Consequently, what I've determined as of December 7, 2016, is that ODE will adhere to the most basic HTML table solutions that are the most consistent across various screen readers and browsers. Next, we'll look at some HTML, view the results, and hear and compare the results in screen readers. The two screen readers I'm using are NVDA and Window Eyes, and the browsers I tested them in were Internet Explorer and Chrome. Our example is based on a video I was planning on using until I found some inconsistencies. In this first example, you'll find a basic table that does not contain header information, and we will listen to this as a baseline to drive home the importance of including header information in all tables. Listen to how it sounds with the NVDA screen reader. Column 1, Column 2 peaches, Column 3 pears, Column 4 apples, Row 2, Column 1 New York, Row 3 canned, Column 2, Dollar 2, Column 3, Dollar 1, Column 4, Dollar 2, Row 4, Column 1 fresh, Column 2, Dollar 3, Column 3, Dollar 2, Column 4, Dollar 3, Row 5, Column 1 California, Row 6 canned, Column 2, Dollar 1, Column 3, Dollar 2, Column 4, Dollar 1, Row 7, Column 1 fresh, Column 2, Dollar 2, Column 3, Dollar 3, Column 4, Dollar 2. Now listen to it with window eyes. Heading 1 Accessible Table Screen Reader Example Peaches Pears Apples New York Can $2 $1 $2 Fresh $3 $2 $3 California Canned $1 $2 $1 Fresh $2 $3 $2 Notice that I faded the page in the middle during both of the examples. That gives us a taste of what our friends that have to use these screen readers have to deal with. Both of the screen readers are operating under their default values and notice that the NVDA reader at least repeated column 2, row 1, dollar 2, while window eyes only read the value. NVDA obviously did a better job on this first table. Now I want to show you what the standards say we should have done. First, a couple of things that are reasonable. You can add a summary attribute to the table tag. The summary contents will not be displayed, but some screen readers will read the summary out loud, which is a benefit. You would do this in areas where you may have several small tables, like in a report, and there's no space for the details to display. Second, you can create a caption tag and place it directly below the table tag. Inside the tag, you would put your description. The description will automatically display directly above the table and the screen readers seem to do a good job reading this tag. Now the next part should be pretty direct, but I was hoping for a better result. The T-head and T-body tags are nice for structure and although there, there are benefits to using them, those benefits were not evident in this table using the two screen readers I had. I also added an abbreviation attribute to the states and didn't notice the difference. The big surprise was the obvious thing that most of us are used to using and that's the TH tag which tells a cell it's a header cell. Now just changing the TD to a TH I was expecting to hear a different results but when I played all this back it didn't make a difference in window eyes and NVDA actually got worse as it repeated the span cells saying New York, California together when it would read the cell. Take a listen. Fruit prices in New York and California. Row 1 New York, California, column 1. Peaches New York, California, column 2 peaches. Pears New York, California, column 3 pears. Apples New York, California, column 4 apples. So now I'll show you what I did that changed the look of the table slightly, but the structure still works and the table reads much better in both screen readers. I kept the TH cells since that's a standard and we should all be aware of that one. The big structural change I made was moving the states from call span to row span on the affected rows, which makes better logical sense. 
And finally, I added scope attributes to each of the TH cells, identifying columns, rows, and the row groups. And now, let's listen to it first with NVDA. Fruit prices in New York and California. Row 1 state, column 1 state. Packaging type, column 2 packaging type. Peaches, column 3 peaches. Pears, column 4 pears. Apples, column 5 apples. New York can row 2 state, column 1 New York. Packaging type, column 2 canned. Peaches, column 3 dollar 2. Pears, column 4 dollar 1. Apples, column 5 dollar 2. New York fresh row 3 packaging type, column 2 peaches, column 3 dollar 3. Pears, column 4 dollar 2. Apples, column 5 dollar 3. California can row 4 state, column 1 California. Packaging type, column 2 canned. Peaches, column 3 dollar 1. Pears, column 4 dollar 2. Apples, column 5 dollar 1. California fresh row 5 packaging type, column 2 fresh. Peaches, column 3 dollar 2. Pears, column 4 dollar 3. Apples, column 5 dollar 2. And now with window eyes. Fruit prices in New York and California state. Packaging type peaches, pears, apples. New York can $2, $1, $2, fresh $3, $2, $3. California can $1, $2, $1, fresh $2, $3, 2 To be fair to window eyes, I have to remind you that these tests were performed with their default settings. And they should have settings that can improve these results. But I wanted you to hear exactly how they read to users that don't change any settings, which is how I generally test third-party software. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.